Hello, my name is Vinay Kumar. And today we will talk about how to configure Node Manager in WebLogic Console. So this is our uh, WebLogic Admin Console, and we'll see our server here. And I've got a task to run the all the managed servers through WebLogic Admin Console. So how to do that? Uh, so if you see, every managed server is integrated with a machine. My current OS is Unix, so I have created a Unix machine here. So if you go to the machines, this is for the Windows and this for the Unix machine. So we'll be using Unix machine, and these are the servers. Okay, so we'll be try to run the mass servers through the admin console. We'll go to the control here. You will select here using server and start. And now we got the message that the node manager associated with machine is not reachable. So first we have to make this machine reachable and then we can start. So we will be opening the console here. This is our terminal. We are in the directory. Currently we are in the middleware, web logic home, then server and then bin. So I'll be running a command start. Manager. Before doing that, we will check whether we are having. There is a property file called node manager dot property. Whether it, it, it should be exist if we if we are running manage server from the admin console. So we will check whether it's currently exist or not. Okay, so we will find node manager dot properties file in our server. So we will go to ws server. Common and here this is the folder we are having node manager. You will check and here we don't have any node manager dot property file. There should be a file should exist in here, but it's not there. So we will create a file here. Okay, and we will see how we can create this file. So in this in this path, I, I will run this command start node manager dot sh. It takes some while, and final, finally, we got a message for socket listener started on port 5556. And we can check, we can go to the machine here. So we are in the machine in the Unix machine, and here we, the listen port is 5556, which is correct, which is now. Listeners started on this port. Okay, so we will. Okay, so here we have the. I mean, when we try to click the node manager, we will get a class path here. So we will copy this class path, and we will paste. In all the managed servers, so we will go to the server here. We will go to the using server in the server start, and we will paste class one. Save it. Changes have been activated. We don't need to restart the server. Okay, now we will again check whether our node dot properties have been created or not. Okay, first we we'll try to start the server again. Let's see. We are we able to start or not? Go to control. Select it and then start. A request has been sent to the node manager to start the selected server. And here we will get some message that the server is going to start. We will wait. We will wait for for a while and then we will see whether the server started or not. Okay. After for a while. We will check uh, the still the server is showing starting and the task in progress. But we will check from the enterprise manager. We will go to the entire enterprise manager and here we will check the UCM server is not going to start. What's the problem now? Okay, we will check whether the node properties file is there. 
we will go to node manager now this node manager dot properties file is created we will try to we will open it and one of the most important thing is this variable i'm not sure why oracle made default as false you have to make it true set it as true we'll save it and we will again going to start the node manager So we'll check whether the process is currently happening or not. We will write. Right. Come on, it's not. Okay, it's a typo mistake. Should be yes. Okay, so. This is a request I will tell you. Okay. Now we are again going to start landing and the socket listener started on the port 556. Okay, now we will again go to the servers here. Okay, so now we are, these are our MAC servers, we will select here, we will go to control, we will select any of the MAC server and we will click on the start. And we will get a message that request has been sent to the node manager to restart the selected server. So we will wait for a while and then we will see what happened. I mean, whether the server has been started or not. Now, the status we got tasked me to waste 23 seconds. We will wait for a while. I will stop the video and we will check again. Okay, so now we will test it and again our Lucian server is not started. So we will open a new terminal window and we will go to the path. directory is the logic home common pen now we will see what the command we will have I will run the command we will install alright so now we are connected to WLS but in the offline mode so we will connect And then we need to get the path. So this is the use this is the user, there's a password and there's the URL of the console and now try to connect. And now try to connect with the main URL. Okay, now we are successfully connected to the admin server, which connected to the base domain. In our case, it's using domain. Now we will enroll the node manager with 
with the admin server. So we'll write in command and import. And here we will give the path of the there's a path of try and then control this is the path of the base domain we have then we, we have to provide the path of the node manager we have so in our case we will have common node manager part of this Oh, we missed the call. Okay, so Okay, so I did a spell mistake. So print the correct command is nm and cap with e and then enroll. Okay, now we have successfully enrolled this machine with the domain directory of using domain. Now we will try to start the server from the admin and All right, so I'm going to start uh, WCP space server through admin console. I will click here start. Something is going to happen and request is sent to the node manager to start the selected server. So we have to wait for a while and then we will see. Okay, now our server is started and you can see the space is started, task completed. We will go to enterprise manager and check. It will go, it's still not, we will stress that. Okay, now we have to refresh the enterprise manager a couple of times, and now we can see our spaces, populate, mass servers are starting. We can also hit the URL, so our spaces are starting. I have provided few of the steps to configure the node manager with the admin servers. So, first, we should have a machine according to the OS, and we should type the start node manager in middle of our home server pane then we can check whether the node manager property is there it is there then we have to make as true then we have to run wst script file we have to connect with these credentials and the most important command is nm enroll with the domain and the node manager role and if we get the successfully enrolled message then we can go to admin console and start the server that's all and then be happy and smile and that's all for now uh, please give your comments thank you bye